over. Okay, so setup's pretty good as far as alignment. Club face is squared up behind the ball. Feet, hips, and shoulders are in a complementary position as far as the alignment of them. Club and ball were center of your stance, but you tend to kind of, like I said, almost you know sit down, and most of your weight's on your heels for your swings as opposed to being on the balls of your feet. So you almost want to step back a little bit so that you are more stably set with your weight forward as far as the middles of your feet. And the other thing was trying to get your stance to be a little more inside shoulder width for the shorter irons and not outside the width of your shoulders. So you can pivot and push off more effectively with your legs, okay? You can watch your swing now as you take it away from the ball. See how the club's got to kind of move back almost outside the ball with your arms only. So you pull it back with your arms, the club that is. And then as you continue back now, the club gets kind of lifted and picked, it up, picked up from there to the top of your backswing. And from that position, it's how well do you time it. So you, the club gets thrown a little bit in front of your body, comes just outside the ball or in front of it. You square it up here and recover very well and hit it straight. It's just tough to do that on a regular basis, right? So if you turn the top half of your body back, you can use your lower half much more effectively if you've got the better balance and the neutral width to your feet. Right? Just something to practice and you can compare.